Hello everyone. Welcome to Python Guides. My name is Vineet and today we will learn how to work with message box in Python Tkinter. I am working on VS Code uh, on Ubuntu operating system, but you can follow this tutorial on any operating system irrespective of the code editor. Uh, but it must have Python installed on it. Let's get started. So I have a basic template of uh, Tkinter. So I have imported everything uh, from uh, Tkinter library. And then we, I have imported message box like from Tkinter import message box. So uh, you might be thinking when uh, like uh, if we have already imported everything, why we have to import message box. We are still finding the uh, uh, perfect answer to this question. And once we found it, we will update, it, update you in our future video. But if you know the answer, please uh, do uh, leave a comment in, uh, comment in the comment section. Uh, let's let's get started. So we have initialized the uh, take enter module and we have stored the value in our um, um, variable ws that is workspace. We have created a uh, title and a geometry and a background color as a blue. We have started an uh, infinite loop that is main loop. Now uh, moving forward, like uh, before we start with the message box, let me show you some uh, let me show you the uh, documentation on the official website of uh, Python. So here's the official website. You can see this is how the message box looks like. Uh, it's a box that gives a prompt. So if you want to display some kind of information, you can uh, you can use uh, information message box. Like there are three types of message box and total we have eight message boxes. So information message box looks like this one. You can see over here. So in Windows, it looks like a, a eye icon and in Mac and Linux, it's a bulb icon. I will show you and moving forward, if we have warning messages, so warning, these are the warning messages, messages, uh, one with the exclamation sign and the error messages with the cross sign and the question, uh, question boxes, which says, do you wish to proceed? So it has a question mark. So these are, there are a uh, total five categories. There are five ways we can display the prompts. So I will show all of these uh, one by one. Let's get started. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a simple uh, interface in which we have a button. And uh, uh, once once user will click on the button, it will uh, display the message box. So we are placing the button on inside the uh, main window. And we are providing text as click me and we are adding a command so command is basically when the button will be clicked what will happen so let me create a function that is show message we will create this function shortly and the, the geometry method that I am using here is back let's quickly run our application to see if everything is right if you're on Windows, you don't need to write Python 3. You can simply write Python and then uh, name of the application. But if you're on Mac or Windows, you have to write this. So uh, I'm sorry, because the show message uh, function is not yet created. That's why it throws error. So let me quickly go ahead and create a show message. And for now, I will just write pass. Pass means simply do nothing. Python 3, app.py. So yes, so here is the interface. So once I will click on the button, it should prompt a message box. Let me go ahead and create a message box. So simply we have to write the keyword that is message box. Then we have to click on dot. And now here in we have eight, eight options. So first is show info. I will click on show info show info now what are the parameters required the parameters required are title title means you can see over here it says example so this is the title and message the message that will be displayed like hello world in this case and few options so uh, let's get started so I, what i'm going to do i will just display a message i'm sorry uh, so show info the title would be title will be example you can give any title 
and then the message would be this is the information let's run the program python 3 app.py so I clicked on and you can see that there is a prompt and you can see the bulb icon over here which says idea or something information this is the information you can notice that uh, there is a title on the top of this uh, message box it says example so similar to this one and uh, there is an ok button and uh, uh, the let the the message that we have displayed it it's in a bold letter you can see this is the information so one more thing that I want to tell you over here, uh, if we, if we, this is the title of the message. If we want to display uh, some kind of uh, little more description, we can just type detail over here. So this is, these are the options. So we can just type this message is regarding the battery health. You can write any message. And now if I will run this program once again, oh, I'm sorry, uh, the click information is also spelling is incorrect. So this, you can see uh, the bold letter, this is the information and here, this is, this message is regarding the battery health. So this is how we can add a small detailing about the message box that we are displaying. So in this case, we would have mentioned it battery over here, battery. And there was the demo mistake in the click spelling, C-L-I-C-K. Now quickly go ahead, uh, let's go to the next message. Before going to the next message, I want to tell you like uh, if, like in this case, we have options, yes, no, cancel. Now, how do we uh, control these options? So we can control these options by uh, using the conditional operator that is if else. So I will show you uh, real quick. Let's go to the warning. Since we don't require this uh, controlling right now. So once I will read to the questionnaires and then I will uh, show you the show you how to control those questions. Now let's show the warning, warning error. So what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and copy this and just paste, remove the indentation and instead of show info, it will be show warning. Title will be same, message will be same, detail will be same. Now you can observe the logo, the icon, sorry. So show error. If I run the program once again, Python three app dot py. So these will come one by one. First of all, the information will come. Then second one is the uh, you know the warning one. So you can see battery. This message is regarding the battery health. And the third one will be the error message. You can see the red mark close so with this we have covered information warning and error now let's go to the uh, question message boxes let me comment comment on all of these oh let me go ahead and remove this because we have already completed it now message box dot ask so what are the options here? Here, uh, the option starts with ask. So ask question, ask question, title. So if you want, you can, if you will not provide the title, it will already uh, automatically accept that. So if I will type, type example, the message. Okay, let's give the message directly. So message will be, so it is question. So it will be, do you want to quit? We can also use a uh, detail over here, but for that we have to mention it. Click. So do you want to quit? Yes or no? 
now uh, i will teach you how to uh, control this yes or no so to do to do that we just need to uh, uh, save this response in a variable let's call this uh, variable as response and let me go ahead and print the response just to see what it is actually returning so let me go ahead and run once again py3 dot py okay oh i'm sorry for that python 3 dot py So do you want to quit? I, if I say yes, you can see over here, the answer is yes. So that means it is it is returning yes. So if we want to control this and, and let's run it once again to see what it returns if we click on no. So it should return no. So no, lowercase no. So if we want to control this, what we can do simply we can, if, response equals to equals to yes then then display another message box with the information and information says you pressed yes and if the user pressed no, so it says LF, LF response equals to equals to no, then message box dot show info, uh, sorry, show info sample. You clicked no. Let's run the program. You can also add the uh, else part. App dot by. Click me. So if I will click yes, it should show um, show me a prompt which says uh, you pressed yes. And if I click on no, it should show me a prompt which says you click no. Okay, so something is incorrect. That's why it did not appear. So it's because uh, you can notice over here, I have mentioned the uppercase N over here. So it should be exactly same. Python 3, add the pi. If I just clicked on no, it should display. You press no. You clicked on no, you click no. Okay, let's uh, go with the next push, next option that is ask okay cancel. So same uh, thing will be applied on all the all the thing, all the options. So uh, let's go and work with this one, the larger one. Ask yes, no cancel. So there is something new here. Let me remove this, and I'll also I'll create a response variable. And I'll store the value of message dot, sorry, ask, yes, no, cancel, ask, yes, no, cancel. And then I will give a title that is example. And the message will be, do you want to save? So basically when we are working in, on any document and we try, try to exit out of it, so it gives us this prompt, do you want to save? And let's run it. Okay, before we run it, just print the response. Python 3 app.py. So if I will click on yes, it will return true. So earlier uh, in, in our previous example, we have seen that it was returning yes and no. Now it is returning uh, true, true, false. So if I will click on no, it will return false. 
But if I will click on cancel, it will return none. You can see here. So now our uh, condition will go uh, like uh, if, so our condition will change now. So this is how we work uh, with message box. So what we can do here, we can say if response equals to equals to, oh, we don't need to write it inside the quotes. True print, or you can just display a message, whatever you want. This is true. And if L if response equals to equals to false print, this is false. L L if response equals to equals to none print nothing or you click on cancel whatever you want you can uh, also provide else part python3 app.py so if I will click on, so you can see this is true. If I click on no, this is false. And if I click on cancel, you click on cancel. Similar thing you can do in case uh, you want to perform some kind, of, some kind of activity, like you want to open a file dialog box or you want to close the window. So you can do that like this. So with this, we have covered a uh, message box. I hope you have understood in case if you have any problem or uh, you want to, uh, you want to know something uh, more about it. You can just simply uh, leave a comment uh, below and thank you for watching this video. Thank you. Uh, have a great day.